This video guides you to custom your user field list in Item Manager. That is, it adds features you want to the window Add Item. For that, click on Setup option. Go to Item button from the Setup. Click on Add Item. Type the name of your new item. In this case, I'll add Shirt. Define the category for the above item. Click on the three dotted button to add a new category. Click on Add Category. Type the name of your new category. In this case it is Formals. And click on Create. Select your new category and define the sales unit price. You can use this user field list area to define your product properties in detail. For example, the color, size or the supplier. For that, you need to go to the Create option. Go to the third page of the setup. Click on Settings. Now, click on Custom Field. Click on Add User Field Definition. Type the name of the field to be added. Here, I added color. You have to mention the field type. Here I mentioned text and the display index as 1 and click on create. To add one more field, click on add field. Type the name of your field here. Here I have mentioned size. Select the field type. I would have taken number as my field name is size but I will go for lookup value. And I will give you the reason why have I taken lookup value as my field type. Define the display index and click on create. If you want to update this custom field in your item manager, you need to close this application. And restart it. To see the updated fields, click on setup option. Go to item option from the setup. Select your item and click on edit. You will see both the features you have mentioned in the custom field. Color and size. Now add the color and the size. You can see this three dotted button next to size and not next to the color. It is because when we were adding the field through custom field, we took lookup value as the field type for size. After clicking on this three dot button, you will get a new window that is Manage Size. You can add as many size as you want, just by clicking on Add Size. I'll add the first size as small and click on OK. I'll add one more size by clicking on Add Size. This time I'll add Large and click on OK. Now you can select the size either from the Manage Size or you can just type the first few letters of the size and select it from the drop down list and then click on update. 